Hey guys, we have another very intense weekend of astrology vibes coming in. Friday is a busy, busy astrology day. We have the moon and Scorpio making transits to like eight planets and Mars is also setting up a square to Saturn, which is a vibe that we're going to be dealing with all weekend. And this activation is going to come exact on Sunday and into Monday, the 7th and the 8th, Sunday and Monday, you guys are probably going to be some of the most intense and challenging days of the month of August this month. And we have those pending right around the corner. And this is again because of a square that is coming into fruition in the sky between Mars and Saturn, the two great malefics coming into the harshest aspect with each other, also in fixed signs. So this is a lot of challenge, a lot of resistance, a lot of struggle, a lot of frustration, a lot of confrontation, power struggle as well that we might be dealing with. We are also going to have a grand trine in fire signs that is going on on Sunday, really just upping the explosiveness and like the passion and the fiery energy, the fuse uh, that is igniting a lot of the stuff going on. So we got some energy to talk about this weekend, you guys, as we are moving through our new moon in Leo cycle and um, things are just really getting intense. Let's get into the chart. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today is Friday, uh, August 5th, 2022. My name is Aubrey, and this is your astrological outlook for the weekend. In this report, I'm going to be talking about the energy for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the 7th. Uh, like I said, Sunday's a big day, leading into the 8th, 7th and the 8th, probably some of our most heated, contentious, conflicting, challenging days that we have going on this month. Also, though, to start the weekend on Friday, we got some big business going on on Friday as well. We are going to have the moon making all of these aspects, two of which are, for one, a square to the sun. We are in four, first quarter square moon energy as well on Friday and an opposition to Uranus in the north node and therefore a conjunction to the south node. So some type of like, this is activating the Mars Uranus North Node conjunction from July 31st and the 1st of August that we had going on last weekend. So this is sort of being hit again for us today by the moon coming into alignment with the South Node opposition to Mars North Node Uranus, perhaps some sudden awakenings that are putting us in a place actually where we are be able to being beginning to be able to release ourselves from maybe some like attachments or some patterns that have been going on like psychologically within us or emotionally within us that have not truly been benefiting us or that are just no longer benefiting us at this point in time. So let's talk, you guys, let's start with Friday. Let's kind of like start at the top and talk about this crazy day that we have going on on Friday. There is probably going to be a lot happening. It's likely to be quite an intense atmosphere that we are sort of maneuvering, maneuvering and operating within on Friday. The moon is going to be aspecting, like I said, literally like eight planets. We're going to have the moon squaring the sun. We are also going to have the moon making a conjunction to the south node, like I said, so therefore in opposition to north node and Uranus, currently an exact conjunction, and also Mars as well. The moon is also going to be uh, forming a square to Saturn, also a trine to Venus. Now this aspect, this trine to Venus, this is sort of coming in and like saying, hey, I'm here to save the day a little bit because the trine, this is the facilitating aspect that the moon is making in regards to all of these other aspects that are taking place and the facilitating, the assisting aspect, the thing that is just sort of happening without the struggle, without the resistance today is sort of an ability to maintain a sense of like peace or poise or or just like uh, harmony or balance in one way or another, like in spite or despite, in spite of or despite like the other things that may be really like coming to a head or clashing, crashing around us. So that's very interesting. And the moon will also form a trine to Neptune later. That'll be sort of like the last aspect that the moon makes. So all of that. And when the moon's making aspects like to different planets, this is like the more aspects the moon is making, the busier the energy is likely to be. And we also have Mercury right now in Virgo, which is also a very busy, uh, communicative, going back and forth, like energy. And we're talking also about one of those aspects being the moon and Scorpio coming into the opposition with Uranus. This is also like high speed, high velocity and Mars there as well. Like quick, sudden, instantaneous, impulsive, like <laughs> spontaneous, just 
crazy change happening out of nowhere. So we may feel like we're sort of being pulled in a million direction, different directions, say we may be a bit overwhelmed. We may feel there like there is just so much going on. Like we like can't catch our breath. We may be sort of like all over the emotional spectrum of things today as well. Like we may be like really up one moment or feeling really good moment, one moment. And then like, oh God, like really not the next moment. And then sort of being in the middle. And then, you know, just we may find ourselves definitely like operating along a spectrum in terms of the way that our emotions are uh, interacting with our experience of reality today. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about in the energy for Friday is this pending and very tight, close conjunction from Mars in the sign of Taurus to Saturn in the sign of Aquarius that we have going on. A square between Mars and Saturn, you guys, like in ancient astrology and traditional astrology and astrology generally, like this is probably one of the most difficult aspects that we can have. Mars and Saturn are traditionally both the great malefics coming into a square together. Squares are the harshest and the most difficult and the most challenging aspects. So we have the two great malefics coming into the most challenging aspect with each other, also in fixed signs, which again are the more like stubborn, willful, resistant uh, science sort of about like standing their ground. So it's like these two planets are very like firm and standing their ground in their energy that they have right now, sort of like pitted up against each other in a clash coming to a head, uh, something new, something revolutionary, something inspired and passionate and courageous and willful and motivated and something that has been ruling for a long period of time, something that has had sort of like a stranglehold or a grip over the, the structure of the way that the overall is playing out. These two things coming up against each other in this energy, and this is gonna be playing out likely on the collective world stage over the weekend. Uh, things could get a little bit heated, a little bit intense and in our personal lives and also like internally within us. There's a few different ways that this Mars square Saturn energy can play out. I'm going to talk about all of them, but I'm going to do more of that as I get into my report, the section of this report for Sunday, because that is the day where this is actually coming exact. But we're going to talk a little bit about it in the energy for Friday because it's still very palpable in the field in terms of what is going on. Um, and with Uranus also, that's the thing, like it's not just Mars and Saturn in the square. This past two years, I mean, 2021 specifically, also 2022 though, not to the same extent, but 2021 was the year of the Saturn Uranus square and Saturn and Uranus and square together. This is also sort of like a breakdown or a rectification or a realignment of the structures of the long existing like power structures of the um just the forms and the ways <laughs> the forms the structures the stability through which like our society generally operates this is also authority like elite and ruling classes and sectors of society coming up sort of against like what is true and right and real and authentic for the collective of humanity uranus and saturn coming up against each other. Now, it's also interesting as we're heading into the age of Aquarius that this specific aspect has really been one of the uh, main markers energetically in that transition that we've been going on because Saturn and Uranus are also both the rulers of Aquarius. Uranus is the modern ruler of Aquarius. Saturn is the more ancient traditional ruler of Aquarius. And Saturn and Uranus have been in a process over this past couple years of making exact squares to one another. And when these squares have been coming into fruition, this really has been another major part of sort of like shaking the foundation of our reality in terms of the way that it's been built and structured by governments, rulers, leaders, authorities, elite classes up until this period of time the Capricorn themes and the Aquarius themes juxtaposed to each other we also right now on a side note have Pluto in the very last degrees of Capricorn and the end of Capricorn sort of breaking down uh these very same things these authorities these uh elite ruling power cla uh, priesthood classes like stuff like that uh the hierarchies of power and control that have existed throughout the Pisces paradigm have been really coming under some turbulence when we have had these Saturn Uranus squares playing out over the course of 
2021. The reason that I'm bringing that back in and talking about that now is because because of Saturn's retrograde right now, retrograde process through Aquarius, we are again back in that Saturn Uranus square energy. I've been talking about it as much and it, they won't come into exact square this time, but they are getting close again. And Saturn right now is at 23 degrees of Aquarius and Uranus is at 19 degrees of Taurus. So this is a four degree orb square. And so this revolutionary Saturn Uranus square energy is really like sort of back on the table right now at this point in time. And then we're also adding Mars into the mix. That's why I'm bringing this back up because Mars has been in a conjunction to Uranus and the North Node. That was this big aspect that took place last weekend that uh, is really it hadn't happened in like over 2000 years and it is likely to be like causing some big waves and ripple effects going forward that ultimately creates some type of like overhaul in the way that our energy that we're using our energy and also just the uh, direction and trajectory and like future timelines that we are moving towards at this point in time. I feel like that aspect sort of shifted timelines for us. Uh, in maybe a few a few ways. But um, anyways, back to the way that we have this Mars Saturn playing out today. Again, because though of the proximity of Uranus and Uranus being in the square as well and also all this fixed sign energy, um, it may be really bringing some like significant upheavals as we are going throughout the weekend and heading into next week. This is one of the harshest aspects, like I said, in astrology, very difficult energy. However, we do have a bit of like a blessing on the side because like I said, the moon is also going to be forming a trine to Venus today. Venus is also in a trine to Mars right now and Venus has a tendency of being able Able to sort of like temper out the aggressive nature of Mars a little bit. So Venus in this mix is sort of bringing things down a little bit, is tempering things a little bit, and again, is helping us to like maintain some sense of poise on one level, like in the midst of all of this. And I do feel like that is going to be helpful for us as this energy unfolding. But it as this energy is unfolding, sort of taking the heat down a little bit, like I said, helping to maybe bring some more peace and balance to the day. But generally, this is just like some more rough energy. This is some more intense energy, especially also with all of this uh, on Friday, all of these moon aspects going on as well. Like uh, we could just feel very overwhelmed in the way that things are going on Friday. And um, again, just sort of feel like we're being pulled in like a multitude of different directions. Now, that being said, it is also very important when we have Mars and Saturn in the square that we are proceeding slowly and with caution. There may just be this sense of like some hardcore tension in the air and we don't want to rush things. Recklessness and carelessness in the midst of a Saturn square will not lead to our success, will not lead to a positive outcome for us. The more thoroughly and carefully we can do things, we can think before we act, we can like take measures to sort of like plan our actions or plan our behaviors or just like really, like I was saying in my report for yesterday, sort of like have our ducks in a row a little bit, just not be like impulsively recklessly, rashly taking some type of action like that is definitely going to benefit us in whatever we are trying to accomplish in this energy. It can be very frustrating, it can be very irritating time. And with again, all these moon aspects on Friday, we may also feel very blocked in our ability to like get done the things that we set out to do to like accomplish our purpose. We may feel like no matter what we do, there's just like something standing in our way and we just like can't get done what it is exactly that we want to get done. We're also talking about this square going on in the signs of Taurus and in the signs of Aquarius. And again, this is bringing in these themes of like, resources and supply chains and money, financial markets, economies, um, partnerships, work relationships, work dynamics, financial agreements, like food, things coming from the earth, like our ability to sort of just have pleasure, indulge in pleasure and have a good time and like material comforts and material abundance and material stability and like all that type of stuff coming into some type of conflict with perhaps like rules or establishments or authority or government and stuff like that. And these are just the ways, the two things that are playing out right now. It's some, it's like some type of issues that are happening with 
supply chains or uh, like food or resources or financial markets, money generally creating some type of conflict with like the long standing authorities and structures and regulating bodies and like rules governing bodies and stuff like that. This is also I feel like breaking down barriers to personal authenticity though, because this is a square aspect squares are pushing for breakthroughs. And I feel like it could also have to do with like defending our own personal values as well, like defending what we value, what we hold valuable, sort of like bringing up the concept of values and value generally might be more prominent as we are going through the weekend and this square is coming into fruition. So let's talk about the moon aspects a little bit outside of this square that is pending that is one degree off on Friday. In terms of the moon aspects, the biggest one to me, like I said, is that we have Uranus and the south node and the moon coming into opposition. Well, the Uranus is an exact conjunction to the north node, means Uranus is an exact opposition to the south node, but the moon is going to be joining the south node coming into the opposition with Uranus. And this is likely to create some just like sudden, unexpected, shocking shifts, changes, awakenings to something perhaps. Um, the degree of the south node right now is also interesting. The south node is currently at 19 degrees of uh, Scorpio. That Sabian symbol is a parrot listening and then talking repeats a conversation he has overheard. So whatever tension is building or whatever conflicts might be coming to a head in the energy on Friday, there could be some type of like sudden endings that are coming through or awakenings to something as well. Or it's possible that the things that are coming to a head at this point in time could be a result of some past issues that are like unexpectedly coming up now. Or in regards bringing that uh, south node degree into it in terms of information that we're finding out, like maybe something that we're hearing, something that is making its way to like our realm of consciousness, uh, just some in something that we're learning, like just perhaps some type of information that we are finding out right now that maybe a little birdie is telling us or something that we are, somebody is like hearing and repeating and spreading the message to us, some type of spread of messaging or something like that may be playing a role in this process of waking us up to something in sort of like a sudden drastic way that may cause us to really want to release ourselves from something, move away from something. Or like I said, this could also be issues from the past that are coming up right now, like really suddenly and unexpectedly that could be playing into these like power struggle situations going on somehow as well. Remember, we also are in our first quarter square moon energy today. First quarter square moon. This is also a time that creates like some more resistance. It's sort of like a time where we like uh, are breaking out of something. This is when the seed is sort of like breaking through the soil. It is a time where we need to sort of like overcome a challenge in order to like progress in some way to get like our intentions or our our goals or um, our manifestations that we've been working on throughout the new moon cycle. Like this is when we are like taking some type of stepping out, taking some type of action to sort of initiate something to make that process happen in one or another. It's an action oriented phase. And we're also talking about Mars though in the square to Saturn. So this is also where some of these frustrations are coming in because we may feel very inspired to be like taking some type of action towards like our goals at this point in time, but simultaneously dealing with either some type of an internalized limitation that is holding us back or some type of like external circumstance or situation that we feel like is restricting us or limiting us in our progress at this point in time. And it could be making us very angry, you guys, over this weekend, especially again, moving into Sunday and Monday. In terms of some more moon aspects that we have going on today, the moon is also, of course, going to be coming to the opposition with Mars. Mars is no longer in the exact conjunction with Uranus, but they are still very close. Moon opposition Mars, this could also be bringing up some anger, some hurt feelings, a bit of a bad temper might be going on, like some harsh emotional reactions to things could be playing out as well. But um, again, it's sort of like we may feel honestly like this may boil down to kind of on Friday, like sort of a feeling that like everything is stacked against us maybe in one way or another. Like we may feel like we are just sort of up against like some type of impenetrable force or just like everything is stacked against us or we have the weight of the world on our shoulders and it's like limiting our ability to free ourselves, to recreate ourselves in the way that we want to do right now or to go in a new direction or something along those lines, but there could definitely just be something on Friday that is really starting to like uh, simmer within us and maybe create some like, mm, like internalized like anger and stuff that is starting to boil up as well. But again, 
we are blessed to have this Venus energy that is supporting what is going on on Friday. Let's talk about Sabian symbols very quickly uh, in terms of what we have going on on Friday. The position of the sun on Friday, 14 Leo, a human soul seeking opportunities for outward manifestation personal self-expression, I feel like, is what we're yearning for and also maybe like what is being held back or repressed at this point in time that could be causing this conflict going on within us. We also have the Earth at 14 Aquarius, a train entering a tunnel. So we may be headed into sort of a tunnel over the next couple of days, like I said, while this energy is in effect, and uh, it'll be interesting to see where that leads us. We also have Venus, 23 Cancer, the meeting of a literary society. And I feel like this is, again, bringing in this information theme that I was talking about in my video for yesterday. Now that we have Mercury in the sign of Virgo, a lot of information is likely to be coming to us. We also have the South Node at that degree, a parrot listening and then talking repeats a conversation that he has overheard, processing a lot of information and processing a lot of what we're learning that is going on right now. We also, though, have Mars 22 degrees of Taurus today, a white dove flying straight and fearlessly over troubled water. Again, this theme of like peace, though, like we're ultimately whatever we're fighting for, we are seeking peace as an outcome. Like we are seeking uh, like it's like whatever we feel like we have to stand up for ourselves for we have to take action against right now it is ultimately for the purpose of re-establishing some type of you know peace and actually transcending out of whatever troubles we've been navigating in some type of a way but the thing is you know we also have saturn 23 aquarius this is where saturn will be when the square comes exact a big bear sitting down waving all of his paws so there there's the fierce resistance right there like there's the resistance coming in there's the blockage coming in there's the you know the fear or the defensiveness or something that is hindering our progress, that big bear. And that is what we are facing and conquering as we move into the energy uh, throughout the course of the weekend. And on that note, let's let us now move on to the energy for Saturday, August 6th. 2022. Now, Saturday is sort of like our bridge day this weekend. Saturday, you know, it is also likely to be quite an intense day because we do still have the Mars Saturn square that is very much so pending. It has not yet formed exact on Saturday and we don't have uh, the same amount of intensity via the moon aspects that we had on Friday and that we will have on Sunday. However, there's likely to be some very big and overblown emotions that are going on on Saturday. Saturday is the in-between day this weekend. Of course, it chronologically is as well, but you know, sometimes Saturday is our big day, but not this weekend. It is, I feel like, breaking the intensity a bit and the challenge of Friday before we hit this very uh, heated and explosive energy that is again coming back at us on Sunday. Now, Saturday, the moon leaves Scorpio, moves into Sagittarius, and that means that the Mar uh, the moon is going to be forming a square to Mercury in the beginning of Virgo and also a trine to Jupiter in Aries. Remember, Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius, so the moon in Sag, ruled by Jupiter, is going to be forming a fire sign trine to Jupiter and the sign of Aries. Aries is also ruled by Mars. So this is adding some fuel for sure into the Mars Saturn square that we have going on. But I feel like this is definitely just a recipe for some overblown emotions that could be clouding our judgment a little bit because of the square going on from the moon to Mercury. Moon is our feelings and our emotions. Mercury especially in the sign of Virgo, is our logical, linear, rational mind. When we have a moon Mercury square going on, on a lot of times our emotions are like outweighing our rational judgment on things, especially when that moon is in the sign of Sagittarius. This is already like expanded emotions and forming a trine to Jupiter. This is like supersizing those expanded emotions and our personal alignment with our emotions. Like we're likely to be viewing our feelings as very much so fact in the energy on Saturday and it could be really be clouding our judgment in terms of like what the actual facts really are like rational facts logical facts are likely to really be sort of like going by the wayside on uh, Saturday in favor of some very expansive and colorful and overblown fantastical emotions that may definitely be uh, taking the forefront in terms of dominating our experience on Saturday. Um, but with the moon in Sagittarius, this is a sign of optimism and hope and faith and luck and belief and trust and 
all of that type stuff, faith in ourselves too, forming the trine to Jupiter, which also rules those same, same things. Like we should be feeling relatively enthusiastic and positive and optimistic in the energy on uh, Saturday. Although, like I said, we may be misunderstanding something or generally allowing these feelings to outweigh the logic. This is also some energy where I feel like we may be sort of like sidestepping reality a little bit in favor of maybe some more like uh, fantastical um, like hopes. And, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but we just don't want to be like riding so high in the energy on Saturday that we are sort of like really headed for like a deep dive on Sunday when the energy shifts and things definitely get a little bit more difficult. We want to sort of make sure that we are trying to exercise a level of like self-discipline in terms of maintaining a certain amount of uh like rational thinking in spite of some very just like over the top feelings that we may be experiencing. This is, these are fire, this is fire energy as well. Like lots of passion, lots of inspiration. But again, like this may be creating this like internalized conflict going on with our rational mind. We definitely may be just like disregarding the facts, the rational programming today, overblown displays of emotion that, that make no sense. Maybe just something like literally people may just be like very, uh, like self-assured in that they know the truth, like that they believe the truth, that they see the truth today and really, really, really like going over the top in expressing that or in like having some type of expression of that. Uh, and it may literally like to uh, like passive observers on the outside sort of just like make no sense at all, but they are very sure about that. Overblown displays of emotion or asserting one's truth. Also very possible with this and perhaps some quite big ways. Also with the moon and square to Mercury in Virgo, people are likely to be speaking their feelings, like really saying how they feel. Like you're probably really about to find out how somebody is feeling, especially if they've had some type of issue sort of simmering under the surface in the energy that we have coming out on uh, Saturday. Um, and again, like despite any feathers that might be like ruffled in the process, like I feel like people are just like not really caring too much about, you know, what sort of gets a little bit disheveled here and there through their uh, expression of their need to speak their feelings and say what's on their mind, whether or not it makes any type of rational or logical sense at all in this energy. Very, very high energy today though as well. And with Mars in the square to Saturn, this is likely uh, this Jupiter energy, this Sagittarius energy because Jupiter is currently in the sign of Aries is likely to be sort of playing into somehow maybe this pending conflict that is looking to come into fruition with Mars ruler of Aries where Jupiter is coming into the square exact to Saturn the very next day. But I got very, very high energy, passions running high, energy running high, spirits possibly running quite high. And we um, may really be willing to put in some work also to conquer our challenges. Believing in ourselves is also very much indicated in this energy. And it could be a very pot like this. It could be a positive energy that we have going on on um, on Saturday. But just because of the square to Mercury as well, it just makes me feel like it's a little bit maybe lacking in some groundedness, lacking in some like reality, rationality, but again, like inspiring faith, inspiring belief in ourselves, giving us the faith to be able to stand up for ourselves, to be able to like conquer these challenges and break through these obstructions. So there is definitely a very positive side of the energy as it's expressing, but still themes of power struggle and battle going on in the energy on Saturday for sure. Now let's move on. Let's talk about what we have playing out on Sunday. This probably, <laughs> I mean, it's hard to say, you know, Friday's a really big day too, but Sunday probably definitely takes the cake because we're going to be having Mars and Saturn. This is the day where they are coming into the exact square while we simultaneously have a grand trine going on in the sky in fire signs between both of our luminaries and also Chiron. And not only that, we also have Venus in only one degree off exact opposition to Pluto. And Venus, Pluto, like this is a powerful dynamic too. Like when Venus is in a harsh aspect to Pluto, a lot of times that per, like it, it things happen along those lines as well. So we are dealing with a lot of just 
difficult energy on Sunday. Okay, so let's get into it. Obviously, first of all, Sunday, this is Mars coming into square with Saturn. It's happening at 23 degrees of Taurus and of Aquarius. The Sabian symbols associated with these planetary placements, like I said, Saturn, 23 Aquarius, a big bear sitting down, waving all of his paws. Mars, 23 degrees of Taurus, a jewelry shop filled with valuable gems. So I feel like this is a process of us, like, rediscovering the truth of our value or regaining the ability to tap our own resources in one way or another. A valuable outcome though, I also feel like it's sort of representing and also just restoring value. Like I feel like, again, I was talking about this emphasis on value that we have going on. It's not only just that Mars is in the sign of Taurus ruling value, but at this specific degree in Taurus, a jewelry shop filled with valuable gems. This is like us sort of like in this sort this battle to like rediscover the abundance and the value and like the precious nature of the gifts that we hold within us and what those actually represent in terms of us being able to create that same level of abundance externally in our lives as we are recreating and rebuilding our world right now restructuring our inner world as well saturn being retrograde so Generally, these two planets at those two degrees, I feel like that's sort of symbolically what this is representing, but also just upsets to the status quo of our material world that is also simultaneously restructuring our collective future. Mars and Taurus, Saturn and Aquarius. Aquarius ruling the collective of humanity and also the future. Taurus ruling the status quo, the material world, the levels of comfort and security that we are used to existing in terms of our modern lifestyle. These two things in a square coming to a head, disruptions in the status quo and the material world that are somehow breaking us through into a way of restructuring the format of our future. So this really, like we are entering today and tomorrow, the 7th and the 8th, a very intense two-day period that could be explosive, challenging, and very triggering energy to a lot of us. Power struggles, abuse, violence, and rage, like I have to say it. Indications when we have aspects like this that are playing out like this. Talk specifically about this Mars Saturn square in some more detail, like I said I would when I was talking about Friday. First of all, on an internal level, this uh, transit has a tendency of bringing up some internalized inadequacies. We may feel like these inadequacies within us that may really be sticking out or standing out to us in this energy are hindering us more than even people or circumstances. We may feel like we're sort of in a fight with ourselves in this energy and that's something to keep in mind like the inner energies what's going on within us are struggling to assert themselves in one way or another against the inhibitions that we also may have going on within us and preventing us from taking some type of action it's like we're trying to conquer our inhibitions like we're trying to conquer our own internal weaknesses but those own internal weaknesses or our own perceived inadequacies may really be the things that are standing in the way or blocking our ability to make the progress or to take the action that we want to take going forward. Fear is often a big factor in keeping us from being able to be effect as effective as we would like to be at this point in time. It's sort of like these our own fears, our own inadequacies, our own insecurities, our own um, self-limiting beliefs, our own inner critic a lot of times that is contributing to our lack of ability to take action, to move forward, to progress, to initiate something, to uh, just like go in the direction that we want to go to when we have these planets coming to a head like this. Um, and again, like the fear keeping us from being able to achieve the way that we would like to playing more into this whole sort of like feedback loop cycle that this energy can create. It's like sometimes we feel like we might fail or like we're going to fail because of our inadequacies as a person generally. But the challenge with this energy is to recognize who we really are and what we really can do without being overwhelmed with these imaginary fears. Like a lot of times in this energy, like it just, it, like it's just, it's just worries. Like it's just fears. It's things that don't actually exist that are playing into our ability to have the 
faith in ourselves to be able to move forward and to do what we want to do. And it can bring up like discouragement or criticism internally, like in terms of our own inner critic, like causing setbacks as well, or in terms of actual authority figures or people that we look up to or people that we respect. And this energy also can be sort of like dishing out some harsh criticism that can, again, play more into this feedback loop and make us identify even more with these perceived inadequacies. But another lesson of this transit is not to derive our feelings about ourselves from the thoughts, opinions, and ideas of others, no matter how much we respect them. We can't attach to other people's perceptions of us or other people's judgments or other people's criticisms of us in this energy, regardless, you know, like I said, of how much we respect them or how much authority they have or how like much of a pedestal we put them on. It's just not in our best interest in this energy. The purpose, like the ultimate purpose of this transit, which is sort of like, playing into some of the key themes of this month of August. When I did my August report, I was talking about how this whole month of August is really about sort of like being real with ourselves and getting like to our own personal baseline and standing in that truth and really sort of like cutting away any of the facades or the false masks that we've been operating within and again like getting real with who we actually are that's what this uranus retrograde and a lot of the transits this mars square saturn this that is like one of the fundamental transits this month is really pushing for this transit wants us to really understand like in our daily life if we can act with the true knowledge of who we are or if we are going to allow ourselves to have our power stripped from us through essentially like attaching to other people's perceptions of what we've got going on and other people's criticisms of the actions that we're taking, the projects that we're involved in, our passions. Like, are we going to allow our progress to be sabotaged by the limited viewpoints, limited perspectives, limited vision of other people and our job in this energy in our daily life is to learn to act with the true knowledge of who we are and not allow these imaginary fears or these perceived inadequacies to block us from being able to move forward in the way that we want to but because of the nature of these aspects to kind of do that it brings up a lot of anger a lot of internalized anger about being held back about being limited about being restrained about being restricted about being criticized about being judged like we could have some very harsh feelings going on inside of us about uh, anything that we feel like is not in alignment with our vision of what we're trying to do for ourselves at this point in time just could be very very frustrating with Mars and square to Saturn a lot of times we have a tendency to sort of like try to re like hold back that anger, like not express that anger, repress that anger can also bring up some real like depressed energy. But a lot of times, you know, it can end up exploding as well. And that is also probably more likely in the energy for Sunday because we simultaneously also do have this grand trine and fire signs, which is unrestrained and universally facilitated fire passion igniting whatever is going on with this mars saturn square and we're talking about both luminaries we're talking about the sun in the sign of leo we're talking about the moon in the sign of sag and we're also talking about chiron in the sign of aries and chiron rules our wounding you guys chiron rules the things that trigger us back into a state of wounding as well it also rules the hero's journey and the process of overcoming our limitations, ascending out of our states of victimhood, mastering our circumstances and our past experiences and going on to become a like collaborative, co-creative creator with God and universe. And that is essentially the trajectory that we are moving on as we are heading into the age of Aquarius. But with Chiron in this grand trine with both luminaries say this also could be really triggering us, uh, really triggering perhaps some wounding from the past or our desire to overcome our own personal limitations intense passion to overcome limitations, to free our heart, to stand down these forces that are overpowering and over dominating or manipulating us and specifically also bringing up themes of abuses of power in regards to love and money. We also have Venus in opposition to Pluto, which is one degree off also, like nearly exact, a building opposition. This is also very powerful, bringing up these themes of manipulation and coercion and power struggles going on in terms and in the realms of like love and money. And it also rules like addictions and toxic relationships and all of like abusive dynamics in relationships. 
coming up today and both luminaries, sun and the moon in the trine to Chiron, like we could really be seeking some resolutions to our past wounding today. We could really be in a place where we are just super fired up to break ourselves free from anything that is perpetuating this wounding or contributing to this wounding and keeping us out of these states of self mastery. And we could really be dealing with like some inner struggles going on. If we are like sort of pitted up against our own fears or our own internalized inadequacies, oh, lots of just, Things coming to a head internally and externally. Ultimately, ultimately, this is leading us to a point of much greater self-empowerment based on a level of much greater self-awareness. Again, like the ultimate purpose here, us trying to figure out, you know, if we can act with the true knowledge of who we are, if we can get real with ourselves, if we can stand in our authentic truth in the face of any type of criticism or any type of like, um immature reactions and and stuff like that any type of lack of support like if we can endure and if we can maintain and if we can uh stay true to our passions stay loyal to our passions and to our authentic self in the face of anything that may be sort of like trying to uh pour water on our fire or like squash out our dreams you know what i mean like we are sticking to the plan despite whatever controversy or obstacles we may need to face this weekend and it is just likely to get um just likely to get pretty heated in terms of the Sabian symbols that we have going on in the energy on Sunday. All of them, you guys, we have the sun at 16 degrees of Leo, brilliant sunshine after a storm. So the light will return. Like we may be facing a storm this weekend, but on the other side of that is some type of brilliant sunshine, brilliant illumination. Also, this is like, again, like brilliant illumination, like seeing things clearly, like having a fresh perspective and just being in alignment with the light brilliant sunshine it's not just regular sunshine it's brilliant sunshine that is coming a return of the light is definitely coming after we go through whatever we're coming through and it is going to empower us to be in a place where we are thriving and growing more in life we have 16 degrees of aquarius the position of the earth on sunday a big businessman at his desk getting down to business you guys this is some pretty serious stuff going on mercury six degrees of virgo a merry-go-round we may feel like we are going in circles about something we may feel like we are on like a never-ending loop or just sort of like going through this groundhog's day or that things are just going round and round and not coming to a resolution but again like things are coming to a resolution it might we might not get there until mid next week or so but we are heading in that direction and then like i said you know 23 degrees of taurus a jewelry shop filled with valuable gems a valuable outcome and also restoring the value saturn 23 aquarius a big bear sitting down waving all his paws uh we may have some sort of like fierce opposition that is creating some very powerful resistance to our process at this point in time though and then also we have venus at 25 degrees of cancer in that one degree off opposition to pluto a leader of men wrapped in an invisible cloak of power so again i feel like this is also helping us to rediscover the truth of our own power and what that really means for us in terms of taking back leadership over our own life remember we're also talking about the north node in the sign of taurus right now ruled by venus venus is that this degree Degree, the north node in the sun in a conjunction to uranus there may also be some type of awakening profound awakening that is going on this weekend that is helping us to see or to rediscover the power within us that we've always had in a way that may have been invisible to us up until this point in time so interesting sabian symbols playing out as well in the context of all that we have going on this weekend Busy, busy energy weekend, very intense weekend. Like I said, the 7th and the 8th likely to be some of the more critical days this month in terms of just things that are playing out on a macrocosm, like geopolitical world stage type of level. Things could get real crazy this week, you guys, or not this week, this weekend and heading into next week. Um, we are looking at some real, like, battles, like, power struggles for sure going on between these long established orders of power and Mars. That's another thing like Saturn and Mars. This is like 
the general and the warrior this is like sort of like coming to a head it's like who's gonna win is it gonna be like the the long-standing like older general that has been doing this thing forever and like knows exactly the way to do it or is it gonna be like the inspired motivated courageous youthful warrior that is just like riding in saddles bladed blazing to like slay the day you know actually with jupiter in the sign of aries ruling mars i feel like mars is more supported in this energy but it's definitely like a, a new version and an older version of something sort of pitted up against each other to see who is going to end having the control. So we'll see you guys. We'll see how it goes. I have a synchronicity card to grab. It just fell on the floor. I was shuffling while I was talking. Let's see what our message from universe, God, great spirit is for us today to help us navigate this weekend. And it says, you guys, forget the past, which makes perfect sense in the context of us starting the weekend with the moon coming into the conjunction with the south node, which is about an emotional release from attachments from the past. So all weekend, this, you guys, uh, some advice, some guidance from God, spirit, universe, higher power is to forget the past, release ourselves from the past. This should help us in some way as we are navigating through this energy do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind romans 12 2 give up your worldly beliefs and learn the truths of life feed your subconscious mind with life giving patterns accept the positive aspects of god and let go of all the negativity forget the past get on with the future in this way your spirit will gradually grow and you will reach your goal so that is the wisdom advice guidance that we got to work with this weekend in the face of whatever's coming up i just realized you guys i forgot to close the door in front of me i have like glass doors in front of me and the screen is wide open and i just realized there's probably been like lots of birds and bugs and noise and stuff going on and i'm sorry if the background of this video has been irritating i try to have the glass door closed when i'm shooting so that that doesn't happen but i literally just realized that i never did that so i'm sorry about the um loud background noise hopefully you guys like nature sounds because that was our background audio today so anyways you guys that's what i have to say for my video today i hope you guys liked it i hope i was able to provide something for you that can help you navigate in some way as we're going throughout the course of this weekend if you did like this video please give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel share it with your friends if you think they would like it and be interested in this stuff and this type of content too leave me comments you guys i love your comments i love your feedback i am so glad for you being here we're so grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much. Um, I have a Facebook page, a Facebook group, a website, and some other social media stuff. Those are in my description box below. And come back with me on Monday, you guys. Again, Monday is going to be a very intense and powerful day. We are going to have day two of Mars squaring Pluto, uh, Mars squaring Saturn, Venus opposing Pluto. These two in combo are like big, big, big. So we will have that to talk about. I'll be here. You should be here too. You don't want to miss it. Have a great uh, weekend, everybody. Remember, let's try to forget the past, not uh, let ourselves become super absorbed in that type of stuff. And we will be all good. So I will see you guys on Monday, everybody. Have a beautiful weekend. And until then, bye.